call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. At the tone, please record your message. For dancing and dreaming, I'll swim and sail on savage seas. With an air of fear of drowning, and I'll gladly ride the waves of life, if you will marry me. No scorching sun, no freezing cold, will stop me on my journey, if you will promise me your heart and love, and love me for eternity. My dearest one, my darling dear, your mighty words astound us, but I've no need for mighty days yet. I throw your arms around me. But I would bring your brain some gold. I'd even sing you poetry, but would you? And I would keep you from all harm if you would stay beside me. I have no use for rings of gold. I care not for your poetry. I only want your hand to hold. I only want you near me. So love and kiss to sweetly hold. For the dancing and the dreaming, through all life's sorrows and delights, I'll keep your laugh a sight. New Beginnings by Barbara Brooker. May this be a day for new beginnings. The sun, like a fragrant apple, the summer air, soft on your hands as the kiss of a child. May berries melt like honey on your tongue. May your heart rise in wonder at the clouds drifting across the sky. May the trails under your boots be covered in pine quills. Let the leaves rain down like memories in the autumn of your heart. May the snow beneath your skis run as fast as water silk. May the cold air kiss your cheeks, turn them red as summer's roses. May the rivers always flow with their unexpected beauty, the first freshets of snow melt, the rush of early spring. May you always walk in the gladness through whatever path or highway. May you always walk within the golden circle of life. Cindy, I promise. Cindy, I promise. To give you my love and friendship. To give you my love and friendship. To be there for you. To be there for you. When you need me most. When you need me most. To laugh with you. To laugh with you. To cry with you. To cry with you. Mm-hmm. And to confide in you. And to confide in you. To trust you. To trust you. To comfort you. To comfort you. And to support you. And to support you. All that I have, I share with you. All that I have, I share with you. I promise to respect you. I promise to respect you. And to be faithful to you always. And to be faithful to you always. These promises I make. These promises I make. For the rest of my life. For the rest of my life. And I give you this ring. And I give you this ring. As a token of our marriage. As a token of our marriage. I'd like to slide the ring to her. Oh, thank God. It fits. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Reese, I promise to give you my love and friendship. To give you my love and friendship. To be there for you. To be there for you. When you need me most. When you need me the most. <laughs> to laugh with you. To laugh with you. To cry with you. To cry with you. <laughs> <laughs> and to confide in you. And to confide in you. To trust you. To trust you. To comfort you. To comfort you. And to support you. And to support you. All that I have, I share with you. All that I have, I share with you. I promise to respect you. I promise to respect you. And to be faithful to you always. And to be faithful to you always. These promises I make. These promises I make. For the rest of my life. For the rest of my life. And I give you this ring. And I give you this ring. As a token of our marriage. As a token of our marriage. That also fits. It does fit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to keep your marriage brimming with loving the loving couple, whenever, whenever you're wrong, admit it. Whenever you're right, shut up! <laughs> <laughs>
It now gives me very great pleasure to announce that you are indeed husband and wife. We're going to attempt to raise the roof and you may share in the docked in Ecuador, Reese entered the conversation. And let me quote what Cindy said. She goes, He is great husband material. I'd shove him your way in an instant. <laughs> Cindy's words from one and a half years earlier made sense. Because you'd have to be blind and oblivious if you'd miss how much he loves her and she loves him. So yes, he is great husband material for you, Cindy. I'm also supposed to give the newlyweds some advice. So Pam and I thought to combine the two. Those of you who are married will agree that is the great to find the one person that you can anyway annoy for the rest of your life. Correct? Accurate. Yeah. Good. And Rhys, I think I speak for all of us lads when I say we all aspire to have the same sense of direction and the same drive towards life that you have. And honestly, over the last few years, you've been such a great friend and a truly reliable man. Our baby boy is all grown up. <laughs> <laughs> so Cindy was coming home from her hen do. They'd just come back from a cocktail making class. So she's listing off all the drinks they'd been making, giggling away. Honestly, it sounds like the girls were having a really good time. But I turned to Reese as he was chatting to Cindy and I saw on his face a look of, of pride and of adoration. And Looking back, I don't think it was because of my cooking skills. <laughs> Cindy, I know that you know this, but the way that Reese lights up when he's talking with you is wonderful to see. And <laughs> so when you're tackling life's challenges together, just remember to always notice those beautiful small moments. Cindy, you bring so much happiness and joy wherever you go. Your smile and that look in your eyes, even now, Time seems to slow. And I want the moment to last forever. It melts my heart, and all my worries and concerns wash away. Whenever you look at me, I'm always reminded of the moment that we travelled along the coast road to Linton, listening to the Sea of Thieves and Pirates of the Caribbean soundtrack, to the spot where this all began. I knew in that moment you were the one. My heart will always belong to you, as Davy Jones would say but don't expect me to cut it out anytime soon. I love you forever and always. That it carried us all. 